Good morning. Good morning. So I'm all packed. Getting ready. Got my stuff ready. I'm about to head to Tennessee to my apartment. Drop the dogs off. Then head to my first date with Ben. See y'all there. We got the whole family. Sky Mama. So it is time to roll. Alright, so I am hooked up to sailing. I'm gonna wait for my date to get here. So the bin list is not here yet. So hopefully to be here shortly. And we can get started, but I'm all hooked up already. Okay, so I just got this up to the list of He finally showed up. So, so far it's been about probably 10 minutes so far. So good. No reaction. This is So let's see. Okay, so my infusion is over. Everything went well. Um, so far, I didn't have like any infusions react infusion reactions um, at the time of the infusion. So yeah, so that was good. But um, I'm just a little tired. I guess you would say. I don't know if I'm fatigued from the medicine or you know just. The lupus itself don't really know but i am sitting in the car right now my parents went inside the store to get something for us to make for lunch and dinner so i'm just relaxing i'm not going to do too much today well i'll never do too much but i'm not going to do nothing for real not even going to the store but uh that's about it so uh i'm still accessed my port is still accessed I know a lot of people are probably like, what is that? You know, why is it still? I mean, like, they probably figuring out why is it in your chest or whatever. But that's how I get my medicines. And um, that's how they draw blood through this. So they left me access because I have an appointment tomorrow with my oncologist and hematologist. Now I probably have a ton of blood work and I have absolutely no veins left. So they just left me access so that would make it easier. So tomorrow, you can keep this in for a week without um, having to take the needle out. So I'll just stay accessed and then I'll take it out when it's time. And so that's about it. Um, probably a slight headache maybe. I don't know if because I'm hungry. I'll see once I eat. But just a little slight pressure. But I have headaches anyway. So not really sure. I can tell I'm a little bit flushed. A little bit, I guess you would say, in my cheeks. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well. But, yeah, that's all. So, it went good. Thank you, everybody, for your prayers. Um, everybody that was praying for my first date with Ben today. And so, yeah, I really don't have much to talk, to talk about. I'm just pretty much babbling right now. I'm just glad it's over. Like, the anticipation waiting and knowing how the first infusion is going to be i'm just so glad that worry is over um if these work out look at my pinky that's ridiculous that's nasty and my hands are like this swollen but anyway if um i'm just glad the anticipation is over with like okay how i'm going to do my first one you know at the time of the infusion uh, when it's gonna start getting all the paperwork ready I'm just so glad all of that is over like it was so it was so stressful you know just getting the whole process started but I'm so glad you know that is done with but um, as far as infusions some people have been asking me how long do I have to have these uh, if it works well for me I will probably be on them until my lupus goes into remission and until I have a bad flare and prednisone can't get me out of the flare so um right now this is like one of those things that you have to do for years so 
yeah i'll probably be having these infusions for years to come and they do get better um the first six weeks because you have to have infusions um your loading doses um every two weeks for the first six weeks so um those are the hardest weeks of you know infusions in general so at least from what i've heard so we shall see hopefully they won't be hard weeks at all um but i am prepared i had chemo before so nothing about infusing medications nothing about it is new to me basically like at all nothing is new so i'm pretty much used to it but it has i i am not gonna lie i was nervous like i was extremely nervous because it's been eight years it's been eight years since i've had like any anything like this like i've you know i've been through some things i've gotten this injection that shot this blood drawn this test done this surgery this procedure but it's been a minute since i've had anything infused and it's been like i said like eight years ago so i was kind of a little bit nervous because you know your body changes over time you react differently you know i did i did well with chemo when i started a long time ago eight years ago i did well with it but like i say things change and obviously my body has changed not sure if i had lupus then before um, I was dealing with cancer or what so that's what I was nervous about like what type of flare am I going to go into with this um, infusion or am I going to tolerate it well so you know I was extremely scared about it but I can say this was my first time um, with this infusion the ladies you know that were in the infusion room they were checking on me making sure I was good um, they took my blood work not my blood work they put my, took my vital signs as far as like my temperature, my um, and blood pressure, they took those vital signs like every 30 minutes and they were on it. And um, you know, offered me, you know, a drink and a snack, had my warm blanket. So it was really good. Um, they were really nice too as well. So that was a good thing. And they weren't boring, but it was quiet in there. It was other patients in the room it's kind of like this big it's not big but it's a good size room um pretty open where you have your infusion nurse and you know their assistant in the room and um you have like recliner chairs and that's where the patients sit to have their infusions from what i've observed y'all know i'm very observant they um schedule people like maybe two 10 15s and then somebody come in around 11 15 and then there's a one then there's one o'clock so they kind of schedule people two at a time so like when your one o'clocks are coming in your 10 and 11s are finishing up depending on um what type of medication is being infused but i was there from 10 15 I don't even know what time it is now. 10.15 to 12.45. Yeah, I was there from 10.15 to like 12.45. So um, it wasn't that bad. We actually had to wait um, for Ben to get there. Because it takes 30 minutes to mix. And their power went off because it's storming here. As y'all can see in Tennessee. So their power had went out. Um where they actually mix the medication and then they actually bring it over so it's like a specialty pharmacy which isn't but right behind right behind the doctor's office they mix their they mix the uh, medication there and it actually mixes itself in this machine and it takes about 30 minutes to do the proper mixing and then they uh actually transport it over so you know, everything would have been on time if it wasn't for having to wait for that. And the infusion is, first I got saline, um, a whole bag of saline, and then I got my Benlista. And so the fusion, infusion itself wasn't really that long. Probably an hour and 30 minutes because they did slow down the infusion rate for me because um, I didn't want to get headaches. 
because that's one main thing that you can um, that's one main side effect that can happen when you're getting infusions any type of infusions are headaches so you know that's what um, I requested for them to do and they did so I was very um, thankful for that so hopefully this is the new start of better days to come it's not the cure but it is a start for better days so we are very hopeful and you know we thank everyone for your prayers today um, continue to keep me in your prayers and continue to follow this journey if you're interested so next time I'll probably try to get maybe make next time maybe not I'll probably wait a little bit while longer before I get through these first three and then I'll um, record in the infusion room but to be honest it's, you're really not missing anything but them sticking this needle into my chest into my port and then hooking me up to the fluids like it's really not anything but um I'll try to get it one day so you guys can see what it's all about but yeah that's about it and I hope everybody have a great evening morning afternoon and I will try to vlog um possibly the rest maybe tomorrow some a little bit you know, so we'll see how I'm doing tomorrow. So it kind of just depends. So you guys have a great day.